What's up everybody? I hope y'all are having a wonderful day. I'm Anthony on today's video. I want to show you how I hand pollinate squash, but there is a twist here because I wanted to try something new as I always do, and I think you'll be impressed with the results, so stay tuned. All right, so when it comes down to hand pollinating squashes, it is pretty straightforward. I will show you that here. All right, so for those of you who don't know, how to hand pollinate your squashes like a zucchini that's what this is it's pretty straightforward first you're going to want to find the male flower male flower being the one with the long stem and then you're going to want to find the female flower which is the one down here that has what looks like a zucchini a small mini zucchini at the base all you're going to want to do, I use a Q-tip, put the Q-tip in the one, the male flower, get the pollen on it, and then I put it down in like that to the female flower. Give it about three days and you'll have zucchini. See, that's pretty easy, right? Now, there's one thing I wanted to add here that's kind of the curveball is the point I make in this video. Now, I'm pretty sure a lot of us know how to hand pollinate squash, and if you don't, congratulations, you do now. However, one thing that I wasn't sure about that I wanted to do an experiment on is, is that pollen good for over 24 hours? Because a lot of times, especially when new squash plants are coming around, they're going to flower sporadically. You won't get that male flower and the female flower in the same day. A lot of times you'll just get just a female or just a male. For some reason they never seem to sync up. So I want to do an experiment to see if I could take a male flower that had flowered a day before the female and see if that pollen would still work if I saved it for 24 hours. So that's what part of the video I'm going to show you now. I wanted to try a little experiment because this is one of the you know things I do in this garden every single year is I try out new stuff. And over here I have a butternut squash. The male flower has opened, but there is no female flowers on this plant. However, the one on the other side of the garden, the female plant, is about to open. Move the onion stalk. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see, I'm going to get the clean side of this. I'm gonna see if I can save pollen from this thing for when the female flower on the other side of the garden opens up tomorrow. So, I'm gonna collect the pollen. That's the female one on the other side of the garden that's most likely gonna open up tomorrow, so. All right, so just like I suspected, the very next day it opened, so we gotta get our q-tip out with the pollen on it so we can see if this will work I've never done it 24 hours later before but we'll see so all right we'll find out in a few days if it worked all right there is our hand pollinated zucchini obviously that worked out pretty well so Go ahead and cut her off. Excellent. That one's gonna be good. And there is our day old pollinated butternut. It has obviously been pollinated and successful because if it wasn't, it would look like that by now. Nasty looking very unsuccessful. So since it was successful, it's still attached to the plant. Can move that out the way for you. Still attached to the plant. The blossom ends come off and it's still green and growing. So pretty excited about that. I can chalk that one up as a success. So yes, you can pollinate after one day. All right, and five days later, I think we can call that a success. So, awesome. All right, so there you have it. That was a very conclusive plus absolutely this totally works scenario. I had no idea before doing this video that you could use pollen from a day old flower that was dead because the flowers only last one day 
for the following day if you just save it on a Q-tip and put it in a glass jar. So hey, now you know, now I know, we can put that into our back pockets just in case we need to use that the following season or whenever we may be starting new squashes. So if you learned that, if you didn't know that, please do me a humongous favor and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and I will catch you all in the next one, okay?